So let's take out a lower broken canine. It has a horizontal fracture mid root. So we're taking the coronal portion using a forceps. And now we're just removing some of the granulation tissue that was um, in between the two halves of the root. So as you can see, because there is a horizontal old fracture on the root, um, there is some labial bone loss at the fracture level. And that probably will make things a little bit easier. So let's start by raising a flap. So we'll do like a small um, sulcular incision in the sulcus of the neighboring teeth. And we we'll probably do like a small vertical incision on the lower lateral position. Avoid any vertical incision on the four or five or the premolar position, just to avoid cutting through the mental nerve. And that is a vertical releasing incision on the mesial. Now elevating and reflecting the flap. When there is some granulation tissue, it can feel a little bit, a little bit um, feel a bit of resistance sometimes from the attachments of the granulation tissues. And the tissues can be very friable as well, so you have to be uh, very cautious and just be very gentle and take your time. Um, this canine actually was double rooted, so there is the option of sectioning on a mesiodistal direction, so sectioning the buccal half and the distal and the, and the lingual half of the root and elevating each part separately. But in this case, I decided to use, because I have a lot of space on the mesial and the distal, as you can see, because of the crowding, I decided to use my favorite bear, which is um, 700 triple XL. This bear, the, what I like about it, it's very long and it's very thin, and I'm using just to Remove some bone on the mesial and the distal, and then use my elevator, sorry, my luxator. I, I prefer to use luxators more than elevators to elevate the two roots in one piece. So what I like about this bear, it can keep the hand piece away from the field of view. And the hand piece has a 45 angle as well. And then you have really good access to where you are, where you're removing the bone. And because it's very thin, you're not removing much bone. You're cutting on the expense of the root more than the bone. So again, just using this um, luxator on a, on a like kind of like um, clockwise and clockwise direction, and the root will tell you which direction it wants to exit. And that once you see some movement, then you increase the rotation on that direction. As you can see, it's double rooted. If you like this video, please um, like and share it to your friends, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.